Hello everyone, Sam is here from ifrsmagicweb.com um, making this a small video about the yen index and yen pairs, how they reacted to the index. So let's get it started. This is the yen index weekly chart made on 26th September. And this is the Elliott wave count one, two, three, four, and as said, we're gonna go up for wave five to the upside. And doing so, yen will be getting weaker. And since yen is always on the right hand side on, on each and every pair, they will all be going to the upside. That's what I wrote down here as well. So what happened to this chart? Let me show it to you. Is as of yesterday, of last Friday, is this the fifteen? All right, so right from there, it started to go up big time. So when it went up, all yen pair went up with that. This is how uh, you know uh, uh, it works. This is the beauty that if you can pinpoint the direction in any of these currency index you can literally have trades multiple trades in hand uh involving that uh, you know, in the pairs involving that that currency for example yen has six seven pairs so they all went up all i had to do is then wait for the right setup and pull the trigger magic ibc you know setup and i did i did several trades probably eight to twelve trades um, between all three or four uh, yen pairs that i trade so, uh, but let me just show you uh, quickly that how each and every single pair went up, okay? Uh, starting, let me see, this is, um, I will just go here. Uh, let's see on my seven minute chart of yen index, how yen went up. This is from October 4, okay? And this is how yen went to the upside. Yen index I'm talking about. So uh, like, like I said, that when this is happening, all yen pairs are going up at the same time. So let's see, one by one, we will look into and see how uh, it went, right? And uh, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna see the 20 minute chart from our magic IV system, uh, a setup as well that how many entries we, we had. So first uh, pair, let's say Aussie yen. What happened to Aussie yen since October 4? You can see here how it went, right? So this was a beautiful long entry here, right? Uh, got out on a break even. And then this is the entry uh, on October 6. And look how far. And then this was the entry, and this was the entry as well. This is Aussie yen. How about... Um, CAD yen. CAD yen was one of my favorite and I made a weekly uh, chart set up as well that is going to fly and it did. So this is how October 4 after that entry, entry, entry and look how many pip it went up. Uh, from 88.50 let's say they went to 92.50 uh, 88.30 to 92.30 so that 400 pip uh, went to the upside. So this is uh, um, CAD yen. What about Euro yen? Euro yen, you can see here, October 1st, right? Uh, uh, 4th, October 4th. It was bearish a little bit because of the pressure, um, uh, downside pressure in Euro index was weak, right? But uh, yen weakness took over and right from here, it started to go up and went up, right? It didn't give us uh, early entry here, but you know there was an entry here and not really entry because this price is not touching the yellow, at least it has touched the yellow. So I would say that this was the entry, a nice little trade, right? One trade, but nice little trade. But this Euro Yen, what about Pound Yen? Pound was a strong. So Pound Yen really went bazooka here. And you can see this is where it started on October 4. So entry trade, this is the one that I took, right? And I closed somewhere here. But then, you know, this is the entry. This is the entry, almost. Entry, 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 and all that, you know, just keep going to the upside. It, it moved fast and big because of um, the pound strength as well. Yen weakness, pound strength, imbalance is high, and then play is fly. New Zealand, New Zealand, how this one went up, October 4, and look, beautiful entry here, and gone. USD Yen, 
How was that? October 4, and it went up since then. Beautiful entry here, beautiful entry here, and entry here, and then gone up. I had a couple of trades on this one, right? And uh, anything else here? Uh, I think there was a, a one more uh, Frank Yen, which I don't have the chart open here somehow. I really don't trade that. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have it. But I can just quickly show you um, by opening a five minute chart that how it did that one went. Uh, Frank Cad. Okay, here's Frank Yen, right? So you can see the five minute chart of that, how this one went. And that's um, October 4 here. I would uh, just turn into 15 minute chart. So five minute chart is very slow. How about one hour chart, man? Simple. Uh, October 4 was right here, right? So from October 4, this is how this one went up, giving several entries. So every single pair went up big time just based on this chart. So this is the chart, and then this is what happened. This index move moving to the upside caused all of that. Uh, uh, you know, all the pairs are going up uh, big time. There, There's hundreds and hundreds of pairs. So this is the power of the index, and it is based on uh, my charts. So see, this this is what happened usually. Not even this one. Let me show you this. One. This is what happens. This is my diagram of Elliott wave, and based on that, I was predicting each and every uh, leg. Four, one, two, three, four. And when I say uh, four, uh, and between three and four, if we can look that, you know, this is a chart I made on 26 September that we're gonna go up, but I also predicted the wave four. Let me see if I have it here, if I can go back and then I show you see, you will see that. Um, you see that on June 13th, I said that this yen index from here is going to be finishing wave three and it's going to come down here for wave four. And then once this is finished, only then it would go up. And then that's what happened. It, it came from here to here. Then I made the chart that I'm going to go up here, right? And this is where I made the chart on the 26th and it went up, up and up. And just giving, so, you know, coming down also, I, I showed it all of those pairs. And then going up, I, you know, you go book, you go long on each and every pair. All you gotta do is feed for the magic IV setup. So this is how um, magical, this is how powerful it is uh, to watch a simple index and then react. Similarly, the US dollar index, uh, I've been following, it's been going up. And but it you know it goes up and down and up and down so you gotta follow on a daily basis that you know which direction today is gonna go, but literally you have seven USD pairs and if you can catch this right US dollar, uh, dollar US dollar index uh, direction, then you can literally have multiple choice which one you wanna trade between those seven pairs maybe one two three or all seven, whatever gives you the the setup good nice little setup, so this is how how it is. Um, just wanted to share with you guys. And uh, if you want to be a part of it, you want to learn how to do all of this, uh, get wave, uh, harmonic pattern, all mumbo jumbo. Uh, by the way, right now uh, it is finishing wave fives. And after that, what will happen? I'll be watching and this usually happens one, two, three, four, five. And then after that, the correction happens A, B, C fashion. And this is in between A and B, usually you will see a bearish girdle pattern or a bad pattern, and then you go down. So for uh, when it's gonna make a turn, for A, I'll be shorting those pairs. Then I'll wait until we get to B, because that you know wobbling here is very dangerous. And then from there, whatever it is, a girdle or, or, or bad pattern at 78% or 88%, whatever, and start to come down. And right here, I'm gonna go short. I'll find my setup here little wobble here and then boom, all pair will be going down and I'll be going short. So that's how uh, this uh, mumbo jumbo happens. So like I said that if you want to learn, um, here, go here, myfirstmagicwave.com. 
and the trades, by the way, you know, are beautiful trades. Um, uh, for example, if I uh, quickly go and show you that, okay, what trades, uh, at least the last um, yen pair trade, which I did. Um, actually, uh, last week, I didn't do any uh, trading because of the sickness. I was sick, but this is uh, CGJ. You see that little trade on the 13th? So I took this one and then uh, several of them uh, in, in the past, which just keep going up. But this is on just uh, the 13th, October. You see? This was a long entry, which I didn't do it. This one, this one. but you know, I said, well, let, let me just take one entry here. This was also a beautiful entry here. But it went up for 50, 85 pips. So this is how the setup is. Once I uh, uh, you know, determine the direction, that which direction is going, and clearly this is going, <laughs> this is bullish. It's all, uh, everything is above the red line. It's all bullish. All I got to do is uh, pull the trigger when the red candle is turning blue going to the upside, and as long as the yellow is above the black, and this indicates all the way down, coming up, that is the entry. Entry is here, entry is here, 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 here. All of these are entry, and all of these entries are pretty good, right? Now we'll hit the SL. So this is how it is. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful weekend. Rest of the weekend. What happened? How do I close this?